Now there is another turtle in here. I don't know if we'll be able to find it. It's hot as hell and I'm not gonna keep looking for it, but just trust me, it's a hybrid. <laughs> Ambonensis. That's right. So, oh, pep up, there you go. You don't like me. Oh, what are you guys, kissing each other? Cayman Creek and the most famous animal in here is the turtle. <laughs> See, I don't even have to entertain these people. I just let the turtles do everything. <laughs> Check it out, everybody. We've got some turtle nerd luminar luminaries, I suppose. Right? Wasn't that the, yeah, you like I turtles. Like, you got I turtles. Have like five of them at you this know, point. You yeah. Them. It's What's up? And then it's the Leones from What's Garden up? State Turtle and Tortoise. And they come bearing gifts. Look at this. Well, Holy on, smokes, guys. Boom. Check out that Otis <laughs> Zilla. That is amazing. We've got the radioactive breath here. We've got the, the Godzilla dorsals. I love this. I am a huge Godzilla fan and an even bigger Otis fan. And Nate, that's my buddy Nate. That's his buddy, oh. who's my buddy now because he likes to ride bikes. But I just recently heard he's into rock climbing now. Ah, yeah, young I still people. Like to ride bikes. I still okay, like to young ride people, bikes. young people. They just they can't keep them on one thing. So uh, <laughs> we're just saying hello to each other and uh, we're just going to pal around and nerd out yeah. and talk talk about animals, so that's what we're doing today, and we'll pick it up when we go to someplace interesting. I hope it's interesting, because you guys- It's pretty interesting, man. All right, cool, let's get to work. We got a tour with uh, my friends. They're here for Animacon. See you guys in a bit. So we made our way into the radiated tortoise enclosure, and Tana, Tana, I always say with a, with a total New York accent, yeah, yo, yeah. Tana. That's how you know. Hey, yo. <laughs> but no, we, we just, it's so fun to have turtle people visit me, because, um, you know, the tour is much different when there's turtle nerds around because yeah. we spend more time with some of the animals and Chris and Casey were freaking out because some of these radiated tortoises are quite huge. They're huge. Yeah. Well, this one's got to be upwards of 40 years old. So I was explaining and, you know, sometimes guys, I get so jaded on my videos. I see these animals all the time. So you, you really don't realize until other people show up, they get so like blown away by the size of some of these radiated tortoises. Casey's heading over towards the male. Look at this, oh we'll God. get a shot. But yeah, so that's a big male. And these animals have been in the United States since the early eighties and they're big. I mean, that's a large male. Dude, this thing is, what is this thing, 18 inches? It has to be the, close the too, right? Of yeah. Lynn, look at that. There, oh, that's, that's, that's right no there. mistake in that. That's no, a boy. That's no. a bull. Yeah, yeah man, so these guys bull. are great. <laughs> and, and it's kind of funny because um, this animal here, I know for a fact is about 12 years old, okay? So that's a 12 year old animal. And then this female and that male are definitely, and some of the other ones that are in this enclosure are quite large and well established. Yeah. So. You really know what I cool. Love about some of them too, like especially that one right there. That older look that they get with the, the center of the scoop, it just turns into that like smooth blotch. You know? I gotcha. It's yeah, so like cool, this. You know? He's talking about that just yeah. from being worn down and you yeah, know their yeah. pigment. But look at her face. She's got such a beautiful yellow face. I mean, we gotta get you some tortoises, Tam. No doubt. Well, that's all. I gotta talk to Chris about it. I need to see what I can keep outdoors year round at my place. Awesome. It's definitely something I'm looking forward to doing because I got nine acres to play with. Oh, so that's so rad. Gotta man. make it happen. Nine yeah. acres. Yeah, you guys definitely need to link up yeah. because uh, Jersey, it's a little colder where Tanner is uh, in Western PA, but I think uh, there's definitely some animals sure. you can help yeah. them out with for sure. This is so cool. We're bringing people together. Through our love of shelled creatures. And look at this gal. She, I think this is a girl. Nope, that's a boy. You gotta reach under and feel. But it, this dude <laughs> always comes over, loves to get scratched. It's pretty rad. So these guys just got fed. But let me show you a little of the aquascape. This is the first aquascape pond. We've got some aquatic turtles that live in here as well. Awesome, oh, wait, man. Oh, that's right, there's one in here. Right. Yeah, that, that's a, there's an aquascape ecosystem. We got the stream. We actually have two in here. So yeah, I, uh, I don't know what I did, but that Greg guy and Ed, they sure are nice to me, man. <laughs> uh, they are good dudes, but here's- the best of the best like it. Yeah, it, definitely. So here are our Badiger borneensis. Waiting for this guy to get big. This is one of the, uh, of course, painted river terrapins. We've got two Badiger in here. We've got some Emadura. I also have uh, Japanese reeves. We've got the- uh, Oh, Japanese reeves? Yeah. I got Japanese reeves. They're, they stay small, those guys. Yeah, and they're like, it's all black, right? It's all black, yeah. And then a regular reeves, Japanese reeves, Japanese, Japonica, Moremi's Japonica. There's a hodgepodge, as my friends know, but- And I'm sure the radiators love using the They use the stream, yeah. They'll drink from the stream. They'll drink from over here where the water's running, you know, right up on yeah. that plateau over there. But here's a kind of neat thing. Uh, let's walk over here. Look in this grass tussock right here. 
right there. You can oh, see. Is that one of Maurice's? It might be. No, actually, this is not one of Maurice's, but this is a pretty good sized Hamiltoni. Yeah. And it's so awesome that I love these turtles. They, they're bulletproof down here in Florida. Yeah. And this one's just kind of gently sunbathing. I noticed that they don't do a lot of full sun. They'll just kind of hide in this dappled sunlight. And if you think about those spots might be advantageous to that. So this one loves to sunbathe on this rock but we've got all this grass kind of obscuring it. So that's kind of neat, man. And you know, the other fun thing about this front yard, and I'm sure it's the same way with your enclosures and when you, you just got a new ecosystem yeah. pond built. Yeah. I love being able to just kind of go on an adventure in my oh. front yard. Like I get excited. I don't see every single animal I possess mm -hmm. here all the time. Yep. So when you come across one, hey, you haven't been around for a it's while. Fun. It's like an Easter it's egg really cool. And it's even better <laughs> when you find babies. Yeah. Who knows, maybe we'll get lucky. Let's go check. Let's go check the skimmer. You never know. I checked it earlier, but... Oh, you just looked? He beat me to it. See? Great minds think alike. All right, nothing in the skimmer. I was hoping but... to be like, oh, look at what I found. Yeah, that's so cool. But yeah, so it's been fun here. I'll tell you what, let's go around this way. Brave the jungle here, because I think Chris will dig this. We might be able to see some of the uh, Cora Flava Marginata. Oh, and how rad is that? Yeah, just nice just another radiated, just hanging out. Like, I love giving the animals <laughs> space. Like, that's what makes me excited. Ooh, who's up in here? Uh, go ahead, pluck, pluck it out. Let's, let's see, see what let's you see, got. Let's see. <laughs> Those, those bromeliads uh, have a little bit of yeah, uh, serenity. Look at that. Oh. oh, that's a big ambo. Yeah, man, these Look guys have been around that. for a while here. They don't get enough respect. They don't. You know? I, I have uh, quite a few babies right now, and they're beautiful little babies. Yeah. They're a hardy turtle. I remember seeing these guys in like the early 90s in like Petland yep. discounts. That's that's actually where I saw my first one. Get out of here. Yeah, yeah, See, it's so real. cool. We, we geographically were from a similar part of the world where we had like the same shopping centers and uh, pet stores. So, <laughs> pet, up oh, there you go. You know, like me. But you know, what was the biggest thing? Whenever you saw these guys, people were keeping them. Terrestrial. Yeah, yeah yep, big yep, mistake. Yep, they were yep. keeping them as box turtles because yeah. they would see box turtle. And these animals almost always perished yeah. in that situation. But They love water. They do, yeah. man. Rice paddies, shallow streams. Uh, they'll wander around on land, but they need to be near water and soak. Basically, so cool. almost like a red ear. Yeah, you can keep yeah. them like a red ear. And what, you gonna get my toes? What's going on here? <laughs> so awesome, man. <laughs> it's cool. Thank you so much. Yeah, it's, it's such an honor to have you guys all visiting. Let's see. We've got the bio falls going, and this is a very mature habitat. Yeah. So it's things are growing up again in Florida, mm -hmm. 365 days a year. I get in but here. I, really I, I do actually. Do? Yeah, twice we're a year. Up on that time of year where we got to start cutting things back. Oh. Well, we probably have like what, maybe six, seven weeks before we have to start doing that. But okay. We, you know, stuff's like that tall. Okay. You know, Got to whack it down. Yeah, what I do is twice a year I get in here and I do a little water change. And, you know, there's a basilisk right there on that oh, log. Yeah. See, that oh, looks man, Case, juvenile. Basilisk. See if you can zoom in on that. Case has got her um, camera out, so you're going to want to go to Garden State Tortoise on YouTube and see their video from Camp Cannon. So be on the lookout for that. Yeah. But it's always fun to show my friends from up north just the exotics that make their home here in Florida. So, yeah, there it goes. Uh, another Hamiltoni. We've got yeah. some African cichlids in here. Let's see if we can find, it might be difficult to find one of these Japanese reeds, but I'll see. I did get those from Maurice as well. Uh, is this a, a Maurice exclusive? No, the Maurice, the big, they're big. The Maurices are, are quite large and they've been hanging out out of the water lately. And did, you, wait, did you guys ever find the male? I did. Oh, you, okay. Yeah, we got lucky. Oh, okay, cool. Oh, that took forever. I'm just kind of looking for a Reeves turtle here, friends. So let's see if we can find one. Like I said, oh, well, here's an Aldabra just hanging out. Okay. There's Boba. You heard the magic word. Yeah. You like Aldabras, Casey? Oh, yeah. Come on. Baby. Yeah. Oh, come on over. This is Boba. Boba. I love the name. There's Boba, Timmy, and Circe in here. But yeah, it's kind of tough for me to get through there. So we might not find that Japanese Reeves, but enjoy. There's another uh, Aldab. Oh, an no, yeah. Aldabra there, yeah. That's Cersei. These are the kids that I'm raising up for Nostradamus was, so they can breed. Was this the one that you what had was... that was like this big? Yeah. Man. Isn't that crazy? So fast. They grow quick, dude. What did... is, that a, is that a male? Uh, it's tough for me to tell at the moment. It looks uh, 
uh, very elongated. Really? Yeah. Uh, I got a male in there, so oh, I would have 2.2. 2. Yeah, Nazi's a male. He uh, showed me. We should have brought Mickey down to him. Oh. He's a girl. Yeah. Oh, man, I'd love to have babies. How big's Mickey? Do you she's, want to do a trade? She's what, 100 and... That was my wedding gift. Uh, yeah, that's what he gave so. me for Holy a smokes. Yeah. Well, since we're talking about him, let's go on over here. Let's go see Nostradamus. That would be rad if we had a girlfriend for him. I don't know. But that's what I'm trying to do with Cersei is grow her. Yeah. Um, you know, it's going to be a while, but Nostradamus. Oh. oh, God. Come on in. No way. That's Darwin right there, right? There it is. That's Darwin, all right. No way. That's all you, Case. so cool to see other people enjoy these animals um you know i mean we love to share there there aren't too many people that i get excited about and it's so fun to have these guys all here because they really love their animals and so when they get to see and they're on vacation they don't get down here often it's fun to see how stoked they are she likes you man she's a tortoise that actually started out grumpy <laughs> um, and then a couple years ago, Kate and I were driving out and Kate noticed that she was over on the far corner of the enclosure. And when we came back, Kate noticed she was still there. So she goes, you know, go check on Darwin because she did not move the whole time we were out. So I go back there and she actually got her head <gasps> wedged in between oh, these no. cement um you know, the cement slabs. Yeah. And I almost freaked out. She was still alive, but you could see where she was struggling. And you can imagine the absolute strength she has on that little oh, face, that oh, little yeah. neck. Yeah. I had to lift her, Kate lifted the back. I lifted one hand on the front and one hand on her head. To, it was like a guillotine situation. Oh my, gosh. my buddy, Dr. Mike Gillum came, uh, gave me some anti-inflammatories and thank God. We've done Dude, Darwin. I, I cannot healthy. fathom the size of this animal. It's beautiful. She's a large female too. Yeah, that's what I was gonna yeah. say. Like, it's oh crazy. She was kept on a 20 by 20 flat slab in Marin County, California. I flew all the way there I to remember, get her. I remember, yeah. that was how many years ago? It now? was now 2013, I think, is when I got her. And so she's been with me 10 years, time flies. But yeah, it's nuts, man. Just, oh. uh, we got her here and she lost weight. She's on a, you know, a more natural diet. She walks around a lot and, uh, whoa, I almost ate, ate it. But uh, she's doing great. Is, uh, are any adjacent females this big? I'm not sure. You know, I got to ask him. I'm, I'm not 100% sure. Scared. I do know he's got some large ones, but she is definitely one of the more robust females I've ever seen. And I don't know where Nazi is. Have you guys seen we him? We just looked around. We didn't see anyone Holy else. smokes. Let's see. It, it, it figures when I've got some guests that I want to show him off to, he's going to be shy. But let's see. There's, I know, dude. He's so awesome. I don't know where he is. He is enormous. And then there's also Socrates is another female we have here. Socrates is? Is another galop. Oh, it's another galop. Yeah. Right. Okay. Wow, she's, she's something. Man. Hey, can we, can we do our intro with Do your thing, I'll, I'm gonna shut you down want, here. You wanna come? come oh yeah, I'll come be in it. We'll be right back. Gonna do an intro, you're gonna have to go to their channel. And we found the other two. Here they go. Oh, what are you guys, kissing each other? What's going on over here? Uh, yeah, so there's Nazi. Nostradamus was a, a hatchling in 2004, man. So guy has gotten big. And you raised him from a hatchling? Yeah, I did. Dude, that, I, that is like the most perfect growth on a captive raised Aldabra that I've ever seen. And this is what I wanted you to see. You know, I, I this tortoise is, a, and Mickey's really good looking. You know, her shell is so smooth, but this is like next level right here. That, that tortoise has always been outdoors. And I'm not an overfeeder. I just kind of um, allow the animals, I, I, to be perfectly honest, sometimes it's two times a week they eat, yeah, sometimes yeah. three. Um, but all this, there'll be vines that they're always grabbing and eating and stuff like that. So, so it works out pretty cool. But you'll notice how Tanner's got his neck. That animal will just allow you to just stroke his neck, interact with him. He's really, really cool. He is a cool tortoise, man. I love him. And oh. and I did a video a couple weeks ago about my favorites, and uh, that's one of my favorites yeah, right yeah, there. Yeah. I love that tortoise. Yeah. He did have a, a brother. Yeah. Uh, but that animal died of pneumonia. Oh, no way. And as soon as I noticed the symptoms, it was too late. It was horrible. Yeah. But anyhow, so yeah, Nostradamus and Socrates just hanging out here. 
So cool. Unbelievable. Wow. Come on in, guys. Is there your Argus monitors here on the right? Yeah, the Argus is right over there. And then we've got Guapo and Lola, and uh, these two are amazing animals, oh man. My God. Again, these are these are two of my favorite rock iguanas. Yeah. Um, this species in particular. I mean, they're the only two of this species I've ever owned. Uh -huh. I got them the exact same day I got Nostradamus. Okay. And as babies. As babies. Okay. And as soon as they were large enough to not fit through here, mm -hmm. they lived outside. Wow. So they've been out here um, doing their thing. Yeah. And. Um, they tamed up so well. I mean, you could do anything with these guys. Uh, although she is a pain in the neck to him. Yeah, uh, oh, that's, but that's like... Uh, it's oh, my guy. That's your dude, right, oh, Tad? Yeah. You love that guy. He's so cool. He is awesome. You can, if you would like, you can pick him up and bring him down, or you can leave him, whatever you want to do. But he is just super incredible. And these guys, I, I love the enclosure. They get to wander around here. I, I love them. They're incredible. This is unbelievable. And these are Cubans. These are the Cubans, these yeah. These are Cubans. Wow. All right, this is Cayman Creek Kids, and this is where one very saucy, well, not a box turtle, she's a snapping turtle. Where the hell? Cayman Creek, and the most famous animal in here is the turtle. <laughs> so, what are you gonna do? It's our girl, Marge, she's somewhere. Let me see if I can call in the Cayman. This place is growing in. Tanner, you've never seen this, have you? You haven't been uh, to Cayman this, Creek? Yeah. Welcome to Cayman Creek. <laughs> yeah, you gotta learn how to talk to him now. Let me just sneak back here. I can't believe it. Oh, I see Marge. Do you see Marge? Yeah. Is she coming? Is that her right there? Oh yeah, yeah she's, right there. she's right there. Oh, here she comes, everybody. <laughs> I was calling the Cayman Lucifer, but here's Marge. Do -doop, do -doop, do -doop, do -doop. <laughs> Come on, Marge. Yeah, you're getting big. I don't have any offering for you, do I? Ah, I look it. at her. Yeah. Her? Is this crazy? <laughs> hang, yeah, on, hang, hang on, hang on. Oh, you got it. Oh, perfect. Hang on. You got to do this. Yeah. But what are we going to do here, guys? See. What do I have? What do I have? Look out. Have? Look whoa, out. Whoa, whoa. That is a snapping turtle. Know, that is, is not is. a box I'm turtle. I'm trying to find something to show her here, but it stupid phone will work. Here, open that up and shove it right in her face. No, shove it in her face. Oh, in her wow. face. Yeah. That's how you do it. Oh, great. Now we've got, we got her. Come on, get off, Marge. <laughs> get off, Marge. Now we got a red foot coming. We got all kinds of drama. Here, we're gonna tilt it up. Marge, just let go. Let go. Uh, she's not doing it. See that beak? There we go. Now watch. You gotta just get it in there. There you go. <laughs> you, you ain't got room for more, kid. She's, she's like, which way do I go? That's There's so too many funny. people. She's gotta go back to the water to eat it. <laughs> she's confused. There you go. That's Look where you want to go. She's so cool. Isn't that bizarre, dude? Is she a common or Florida? She's a Florida. Okay, cool. Yeah, so she's just gonna go <laughs> plunk herself back in there and uh, swallow it, and then she'll be chasing me again yeah, for more. Yeah. Isn't that nuts, dude? I love she's it. So cool. And uh, we have a little red foot that's gonna get a couple of little pellets from our friends at Flukers. So there you go. That's so funny. I put the red foots in here as kind of um, labor. They're, they're ah. keeping the weeds at bay. Clean up crew. Yeah, they're awesome. They're happy. Down here, we do get some of the scud, you know? Yeah, what is that? I've always wondered what that yeah, is. Yeah, it's like, just, you know, it's so funny. It's a very superficial fungus that can uh, get on their shells. Um, but to be perfectly honest, a little chlorhexidine. And then, yeah, or silverdine. Okay. Which is the best medication yeah, yeah, yeah. in the world, yeah. Silverdine cream. Yeah, so you just oh. put it on. Is she coming she back? back for more? Yeah. She's coming back for more. Let's, let's go on over here. Let's see what she thinks of this dude. Oh, oh, what do you got? Oh <laughs> man, you're gonna you're gonna show her Otis. Yeah. All right, let's see. Hey Marge, I love how he's talking to her. What do you think of this dude? All right. <laughs> she's she's literally him. checking him out. Oh, now she's checking me out. <laughs> she's like, yeah, he's cool and all, but you know what? <laughs> I want to eat. Oh no, now she's fixated on my nose. That's dangerous. She Can you like imagine she her when she's huge? She acts so much like him. It's Isn't it so crazy? Cool. There we go. It is cool, right, Nate? Yeah. Wow. All right. Oh boy. How can you even fit anything else in there? <laughs> that is amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that butt. Yeah. Look at that hiney. Yeah. Look at that. She knows how to take care of herself. She huh? does. She does. And then we have, of course, snapping turtles are survivors. They are. We have these beautiful uh, Unifilis, and they are, of course, the spotted Amazon river turtle, but they're so big, 
that they've lost all their spots. They're so old. Wow. And then there is a Cayman in here. There's Lucifer. Yeah. But just watch a step here. Step on these rocks. Don't step there. But let's see. Where is Lucifer? I also have twist neck turtles in here that Maurice gave me. Where the heck? He might be in that cave, to be honest. <sighs> oh no, he's right in here. The Cayman is just at the base of the papyrus. If you, I don't know if you can squeeze in there, Casey. But here, Nate, let's see. No, come, around. come around me. Case, you just stick yourself in there. You can zoom in. You have a real camera. Oh, you see him? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So he's God, just, awesome. he's hanging out. That's where he wants to be. Mm -hmm. I also have Salvini in here. Really? Yeah. That's sick. You ever see them? <laughs> yeah, when, when I throw oh, food out for him. That's one of my dream animals. Yeah. What's that? Salvini? No. Oh, yeah. Cayman, no. yeah. Here, let me see something. He's coming. Who is he? Yeah, I got no, him. No, no. He likes Tanner. He's got the alligator. Yeah, I got it. Got, I, I have alligator. Right Remember, I showed you alligator. Here he comes. He's coming to me. <laughs> He's coming to you, Chris. Yeah. Where's she going? Oh, there you go. Hi. Show hey, buddy. Wow. Oh, I'm in your way. So, God, that is such um, a wicked looking animal. <laughs> they do look so, uh, like, imposing, you yes. know what I mean? A lot smaller than I thought. Right. Like I've seen it in the videos and it seemed bigger. No, but, but that's full grown male. That's, that's what's so crazy. incredible. It's a true dwarf species. Yeah. That's the Cuvier's? This is the Cuvier. Cuvier. Yeah. But hold on now, guys. We've got over here a hideout for somebody. I, I was looking all over the place for this turtle and it found the crevice here. Oh, gosh, I'm going to have to extricate it by moving it? this. I do, I feel it, in fact. Uh, there we go. Look at that. Grab that turtle, will you? That is the female twist neck. I believe. Oh, wow. That's crazy Isn't that looking. crazy looking? That coloration's wild. Yeah, it's so awesome. Now, to be honest, I'm really excited that I found where this animal likes to hide because in the winter, I'm gonna have to grab this yeah. animal when it gets too cold. But look at that, look at that face. Isn't that great, guys? Oh, yeah. That is a cool animal. So hopefully we'll get babies of these. That would be very unique. But the only problem is, let me see if this, this is looking, this is the male. The female is the one that went on the other side. Is this shell shape on top? Is that natural or is it that? It is. These guys, they basically live in very shallow mm -hmm. areas and they spend a lot of time walking around on land, as you can see. Yeah. And so they look like a leaf. They look just basically like the forest floor. That's awesome. It's pretty cool. I'm gonna put her back in her little home. She she seems to be happy there. All right. So what did you just tell me? These are probably the most wild turtle I've ever held. It's just, <laughs> it's so weird looking because it looks like a turtle, obviously with the shell and legs, but almost like a salamander snake yeah. type of neck. And yeah. it's just, I've seen them before, but not up close and personal like yeah, this. It's, they are, it's incredible. They, they're some of my favorite turtles just because their uniqueness and, you know, they're, they're from so far away. Yeah. Uh, you know, Southern Hemisphere, Indonesia, Australia. That's what the Australians get to look at all the time. That's a normal turtle to them uh, is, is their snake necks. Yeah. Uh, they also have some of the other side necks, but they don't have quite that long ne of a neck. Um, but I, I love seeing these guys. And we just recently did this quick enclosure. I, I call this the turtle soup because it's got a couple of different species in it. Um, again, I'm spoiled living down here in Florida because I could just add turtles to something and I don't have to worry so much. You know yeah. what I mean? Uh, yeah. We've got this nice protective uh, cover, but dig around in there, D dig underneath there, see what else you can find. Let's see what other species we have in the soup, uh, as I like to call <laughs> it. And uh, you know, let's see, let's see. What do we get if we want to uh, I don't know, you get to <laughs> identify the turtle, man. You didn't give me a prize for, for all that lesson. <laughs> Yeah. The lesson I got oh. when I was doing... All right, ready? There you go. What is it? Ambonensis. That's right. Look at this little dude. Look at that. So we were talking earlier in the video about the adults. Yeah. And uh, there's one of the, every one of the hatchlings I have, yeah. I found. Wow. They are incubating in the ground. They're doing great. I love them. And, and you said they don't get enough respect. They don't. They don't. Yeah. And, and what's cool about them is, you know, again, like, you know, everybody's calling them box turtles. You know, they're an Asian species of box turtle. But what's different about them 
compared to the North American ones, they lay big elliptical hard shelled eggs, brittle shelled eggs, whereas our box turtles lay smaller, also yeah. elliptical, but leathery shelled eggs and a lot more of them. Because what do yours lay? Like one or two in yeah, the shot? Yeah, one or two. It, right? Yeah. And the eggs are massive. It, 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 these guys, I've only been getting like one egg out of a female. It's yeah, so hysterical. But they're so beautiful. They are really cool. I love them. Cool turtle. Now, there is another turtle in here. I don't know if we'll be able to find it. Tanner is. Is it big? It's not big. It's actually tiny. It's a hybrid Reeves Japonica. <laughs> Maremi's Japonica? Yeah. Cool. What it's pretty cool. Like? Yeah, I got to show you. It looks like the. Man, now I got to find it. I keep finding this same guy. Back here. You saw somebody back there? Back here, yeah. It's yeah. tiny. You want all the. Oh, oh, I found them. You found them? Yeah, you went. Get them, Tanner. This is awesome. He went this way? Yeah, he's like probably under here somewhere. There's your finger. It's like a little gray turtle. Yeah, right? yeah, exactly. Yeah, I, seen him. Well, I got him. You got him? Or no. No, no. That's, a, that's a yellow bellied slider. <laughs> Very cool, though. Awesome. Well, we're not going to find it because it's hot as hell and I'm not going to keep looking for it. But just trust me, it's a hybrid, okay? It's pretty. <laughs> Looks like a Reeves, Reeves face with a Japonica shell. I see a couple Another more of the Ambos. Top 10 hybrids. Come on, that one? That's cool. What is this? It's That's that ambiance. Ambo. Yeah. Where are the other side mix? I want to get a. See if I can get a shot with all three of them. Oh, I see. Fun. See? I don't even have to entertain these people. I just <laughs> let the turtles do everything. See you from the next animal. All right, so no trip to the camp is complete without meeting Slinks, guys. Now, you've already met Slinky, so we're going to... Several gonna, times, yeah. What we're going to do... Ah, come on out, Slinky. What do you want to do? You want to eat my foot? No. Oh, yeah. Now, Slinky is an amazing animal. We're just going to have him come out here for a wander. Um, there you go. Tanner knows the deal. I learned that from my friend Kevin McCurley. Just make a fist and allow him to sniff on you. He's always been good. Uh, then again, he is a monitor lizard, and uh, you can reach down and pet him. There you go. He's really interested in everyone here, but he is an awesome, awesome lizard, man. So it's cool. I, I love seeing people's reactions to him, even other animal people, because yeah. he is so impressive that, you know, you rarely do we get to see lizards this large. What do you see? What do you smell? You smell the oldest t-shirt? You want that t-shirt? You're gonna come up on me? Is it my scent? What is it? Is he full grown yet? He's full grown, yeah. um, but he, I would consider him full grown, but well, that's, that's a good question. They never stop. The, but... Yeah, he's, he'll get a bit bigger. And in fact, what's happened now, since look at his body language. Yeah, I see him. I'm just right. sitting You still. just stay still. Um, so basically because he's in such a large enclosure, uh, he has just been growing just by leaps and bounds. People that saw him a year ago come back yeah. and they're like, dude, He's huge, so I don't want him to go too far. I'm gonna hand this over yeah. to you. Um, basically, it's cool to kind of have him out, but you could see, you know, he's he gets on the scent of things. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so there's a lot of beautiful marsh rabbits that live around here. And that tongue, as you know, is just incredibly tuned to help him find food. I'll guarantee he's gonna stick his head in there. Has to, yeah. <laughs> that's what yeah. I do. I'm a monitor lizard. Look at this, he's on the scent. Let's see if he catches a rabbit. Imagine he does. It's, dude, no way, he's got something. He's got something. He's got something. He's got something. He would shake his head though. What I'll do, let's see guys. What does he got? Holy shit, see. does he have something? I, would, I thought I would hear, I gotta be careful when I lift this. You see anything? No. Oh, it went running. Oh, it did, wow. it did go running. It did go running. Get out of here. <laughs> so we just saved the rabbit's life. Oh How nuts is that, man? That's did, wild. So this is what's so exciting about him. Um, we did a video years ago with our friends at Oxscape, good old Ed and Greg. And my gosh, I had him out in the Oxscape pond and he found and ate a water snake. Yeah, it was yeah, I remember insane. That. So we almost had him eating a rabbit. And I knew it, that, that's what's so cool about when you spend time with these animals, you, you kind know, of understand, Dom. you know, like, hey, he sees a hole, he smelt something. I know a rabbit lives there and he just took off. Yeah. Can, you trying to get another one or just turning around? There might be another one in there. I don't know. Holy smokes. You gotta love this. This is exciting, huh? The rock is moving. Yeah. Uh, and that's one of the things that's awesome about animals. It's never a dull moment. Never. You always learn something new, see different behaviors if you keep them in the way that all of us do here. Right. And it's just such a cool time. It is a cool time, man. Uh, 
You know what? Careful now. There's a cane toad in there. Is there? A okay. Big one. All right, grab this. We're going to save him. Hold on. Well, I didn't know if that's what he was trying to get. I'm not sure. Come on, Slinky. Come on, Slinky. Uh, I want to get him out of there if there's a cane toad. Because they're not from the area. Yeah. The cane toads. Come here. I scared the shit out of him. Please, God, don't be eating a cane toad. That's the other. Here, I need someone to hold this. I got you. Hold this up while I grab him. <sighs> Does he have anything in his mouth? No. He doesn't. no. Uh, uh. What's he weighing, Kenneth? Uh, this much. <laughs> yeah, I think he's, he's close. Oh, I got you. Got him? Yeah. Can you stuff that back under there? Okay. Oh, he's a great animal, so. Is that cane toad still there? I could get it if you want. Well, I just want to make sure it's not in him. Holy smokes, that's a little scary. That's the one downside. What? Make sure the cane toad's still there and you can just- I mean, you would see, I think, white. Just pull that stuff, I'm not afraid of it. Please, God. Do you want me to shut this down? Or? Not yet. I think we would have heard him struggle. He does not look like he's eating anything. You want to come back in? Get back in there. Oh my gosh. Maybe when, maybe that was him trying to turn around for it. Crazy. Thank you so much. Yeah, this is one of my crowning achievements is uh, my friend Jerry helped me build it and it's beautiful. And it's very evident that you love Slinky. Oh, uh, thank you. Right here. Yeah. <laughs> it really is. It's a cool spot. Yeah. This is it, guys. This is the last, uh, these are the last animals on the tour here. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna get on in here and show Casey, Chris, Tanner, and Nate. I always like to have a pole. Look at the monster coming out. Come on, Dale, come on, Snaggletooth. Are we going in? You may. Okay. Case, but uh, you guys will just stay behind me. There's gonna be a gator coming over here and a gator that's sneaky. The sneaky one is the big one. Dale is pretty, she's not scared of anybody. Come on. Come on. Oh, look at her coming. Wow. Look at her coming. Come on, Dale. Yeah. That's my big girl. Now these girls and boys have been, this girl and boy have been eating a lot lately. So I'm not gonna feed them, but if I step down here, we gotta be careful. They're smart. I want you to see how big this guy is. Come on. Come on. Holy yeah, he's a big boy. He's huge. He's massive. That is a big alligator. That is Snaggletooth. How did you guys transport him? That was a fun video. That was uh, my friend John Bruggen from St. Augustine Alligator Farm oh, okay. came down and helped us. We wrangled him up from my buddy Fred's house. Uh, and you must know the story, Fred passed away. Yeah, and yeah. so his family, uh, he had left these animals to me and then his family was on hand to kind of watch the whole adventure. And we brought them all over here to see their new house and they still visit. Uh, I've had his granddaughter and daughter over here um, and they come to visit the animals. And as you see, they're well behaved. They're both just waiting. They know I don't really have food. They understand when yeah. I'm gonna feed them and they understand when uh, we're just kind of showing. Um, so it's show and tell today. Um, I respect them, they're beautiful animals, but make no mistake, even though it's an alligator and they call them the puppies of the swamps, they can do a number on you. Yeah. You know, yeah. So. You know it's, uh, we got a lot of animal friends and we're used to going and seeing different things at their houses, but it's not every day you go to your friend's house and you see their backyard alligators. Yeah, this is true. <laughs> yeah, so. <laughs> All right, well, there you go. I'm gonna end this video right here. And if you wanna see more, you're gonna go to Garden State Turtle and Tortoise YouTube page uh, to see what Chris and Casey come up with here. I uh, really am psyched that Tanner and Nate were here. Uh, thanks for coming. Thanks for having us. My pleasure, man. Yeah, you guys, it's been, we should have been here a long time ago. I'm glad it worked out. You guys are the best. And uh, say hello to Otis for me. I'm gonna wear this shirt. Uh, with great glee, if that's, I don't know, is that something? That's something. With great enthusiasm, with uh, much happiness. Maybe I'll be back next year. And we'll build something. We'll build something. <laughs> I like it when Tanner says that because I love inspiring this guy because he is a true artist when it comes to building natural habitats. Okay, everyone, you know what to do. Like, subscribe, leave a comment below, and go see my friends on their YouTube channel. Link in the description. See ya.